So here's what can happen if you take an acre of what is effectively mown grassland, like this one behind me here, as you can see, pretty sterile, pretty void of life, a couple of patches of nettles for maybe small tortoiseshells or uh, red admirals or peacock butterflies to lay their eggs on. But other than that, pretty much void of life. But if you take that piece of land, you strip the topsoil and you sow some wildflowers and plant some trees and shrubs in the banks that are made from that topsoil, here's what can be achieved. Well, as you can see, the results after 10 years are quite astounding. It's just brimming with life. Even on a rainy day like today, a slightly overcast day, it's just full of butterflies, bees, moths, uh, and of course, bats will be visiting in the evening to hunt on those moth species. Uh, and at the top of the screen, you'll see uh, there's a bank where all the stripped topsoil was placed and then planted with native trees and shrubs. And now they are maturing, they're providing a home for our uh, migratory warbler species, things such as blackcaps, whitethroats, which are now nesting in this scrub belt, which is just wonderful to see. And of course, the longer grass that's left around the margins, uh, you can see there's a, a, a tussock area behind me. Uh, that provides great cover all year round, it's never cut for uh, our voles and mice species which of course in, in turn provide food for kestrels and barn owls which hunt over these areas. Massive patch of kidney vetch behind me as well, uh, which is colony to or, or home to a colony of small blue butterflies which to my knowledge is the only one in South Lincolnshire, so wonderful to see. But I just wanted to give you that bit of an insight into what can happen if you take an acre of land give it a little bit of help to get started and then let it thrive. Absolute haven for wildlife.